Hi everybody, it's time for our weekly update just to let you know what's going on across the Gateway family. I hope that this finds you well, that you've had a good weekend and that you've been able to enjoy some of the Easter sunshine. The first thing I wanted to update you on was the new uh, food distribution centre which opened this weekend at the Trinity Centre in West Lee. Uh, so the team from Gateway Furniture together with one or two other volunteers have transformed what is uh, normally our auditorium into a food dis distribution centre. It's drive-through, it's compliant with all the distancing guidelines um, and it's really in support of a uh, food collective um, as they potentially expand over the weeks and months ahead. So um, it's great to be able to be involved in supporting them as part of Compassionate Swindon, this coordinated response right across the town to people in need. And just really wanted to say a massive thank you and well done to the team who've got this off the ground in a very short space of time. So led by Ian Lowe and Andrew Williams. Uh, great job, guys. Thank you and well done for all that you've achieved. Um, OK, other um, encouraging things from this week. Uh, just wanted to update you on the welfare fund. So this is available to serve those who may have uh, financial needs over the weeks and months ahead within the Gateway family. Uh, we spoke about this a couple of weeks ago and already, including gift aid, we have around six and a half thousand pounds in that fund. So a big thank you to everybody who's given. It's not too late to be involved. If you want to make a donation, then just put it in the usual bank account and make sure you use the, uh, the reference welfare fund. We've also been so encouraged uh, to see the new household groups getting off the ground and beginning to function. So um, nearly 35 groups spread right across the town, meeting virtually, serving one another's needs, encouraging one another, caring for one another. Um, and it's just been great to see the church come alive at this time um, in this way. It's not too late to, to be involved. Again, if you consider that you're part of the Gateway family, you really need to be involved in one of these groups, um, being cared for and caring for others. So if that's you, please respond to this message um, or email us at info at gcswindon.org.uk. We would love to connect you into one of these groups. And we're just aware with these groups that there may be some groups where the practical needs within the group are beyond the capacity of that, that group, whereas there will be others in the Gateway family who have a bit of spare capacity and are able to serve others with practical needs. We want to make sure those two um, uh, groups are connected together. So we're going to form a central list um, of those who have a bit of extra capacity, who are willing and able to, to um, serve practically other people in need across the body so that we can make sure that everybody's needs are met. So if you are um, happy for us to put you on that central list, you have a bit of capacity, then please again get in touch with us, um, uh, email us or respond to this message um, so that we can coordinate uh, the meeting of needs. Okay. It was great, wasn't it, last week to um, have the Zoom prayer meeting on Tuesday. So um, over 40 households involved on the screen, um, praying together for uh, one another, for the government, for Swindon, uh, praying for the gospel to go out and for a revival to come. It was just great to see people again. Um, it may well be a record for the number of people in a gateway prayer meeting. Not sure about that. But uh, straight afterwards, we kind of said uh, we mustn't leave it too long before we do that again. So uh, it will now be a regular thing, a Zoom prayer meeting every other Tuesday. Uh, so make sure that if you weren't able to join us uh, last time that you do next time, put it in your diary. Uh, the next one will be 8 p.m. on Tuesday, the 21st of April. OK, the only other thing I wanted to let you know about was our new preaching series, which we're launching this coming Sunday. Uh, we've called it Restless, and it's based around the book The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer. Uh, we, one or two of us have mentioned this over the past uh, months, and really we believe it's a prophetic message to the church in our day. The question that it centres around is, when we live in a culture which causes us to be so busy and we're often so preoccupied and distracted, what effect is that having on our spiritual lives and on our souls? And what does it mean for us in our culture to walk with Jesus and at his pace? Uh, we feel it's such a key question for us now and all the more so really in the circumstances that we find ourselves in right now where we're kind of recognising our own fragility and also everything in many ways is being thrown up in the air. So uh, we want to look at that question. The series kicks off this Sunday 
If you haven't yet got the book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry, uh, then I encourage you to get that book this weekend to begin reading. Uh, but we're really looking forward to that beginning this Sunday. I think that's all I've got to update you on today. Um, I hope you have a good week. Good to see you. And thanks for listening. Bye.